Hollywood. With over a billion people watching the Oscars, what better place for Harry Winston to show off its world-famous jewels? Every year, nominees and presenters get a chance to don some of the most beautiful and expensive baubles on Earth for free. A letter from Mr. Winston uh, goes out to each of the nominees congratulating them and offering them the opportunity of wearing Harry Winston jewels on the evening of the Oscars. But it's not unusual to walk into the salon in New York or certainly the one in Beverly Hills a few days before the Oscars and literally see a celebrity gridlock. We do have an idea of what we would like to see. In fact, we picked out certain pieces. Uh, we've just completed a very, very delicate uh, sapphire and diamond necklace uh, that I've kind of put aside for Kristen Scott Thomas. I promise. We picked out a, a magnificent emerald and diamond necklace that would look stunning on Lauren Bacall. Fine, I'll go home and change. And then there is a wonderful set of, uh, of rubies and diamonds that would look smashing on Juliette Binoche. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. The night of the Oscars last year, we had, I think, about 26 million dollars worth of jewelry out on loan. There is incredible security. We have everything insured. People uh, always ask us, why go to all of this trouble? Why not? Uh, it's certainly a wonderful advertisement for us. Several years ago, uh, literally the morning after the Oscars, we got a call from a client in Hong Kong who wanted shipped out that day the necklace that Madonna had worn on the stage the night before. So it was literally sold within 24 hours. In fact, the more than 230 carats of white and canary diamonds I'm wearing right now are courtesy of Harry Winston. The cost? Two and a half million dollars. Not bad.